Welcome to the 1099 ETC program. This tutorial covers e-filing corrected 1099 forms through e-file services. Only corrections for money amounts sent to the IRS can be e-filed using our e-file services module. This is the main menu. First go into the W2 1099 forms filer. Open the pair. Open the 1099 form. Correct the data and put an X in the corrected box. Close the W2 1099 forms module and open the e-filer. This is the e-filer menu. Please note that state corrections cannot be e-filed. Select e-file services. Now click OK. Select create new batch. Here are your e-filing options. Select 1099 as a form. Select the miscellaneous as the form type. Select e-file to the IRS. This is the transmitter screen. Click the drop-down arrow beside the transmittal type. And select correction of money amount sent to the IRS. The transmitter information is optional. Click OK to continue. Next check the pairs that are to be included in the e-file. Multiple pairs can be selected. For the tutorial, select ABC Payroll. Once all pairs are selected, click OK to continue. This prompt will display for each pair and form that has been selected. If multiple pairs and forms were selected, answer the prompt for each one. Make sure to select Skip if the pair does not have data in the listed form, otherwise, if no data exists the process will abort. Click Process. At this point, the pairs and the forms are being processed for any errors or warnings. If there are any errors, they must be corrected or the file will not be created. If you add other pairs to process, select Process More Pairs. This will take you back to the Select Pair screen, where you can select other pairs to include in the file. To continue, select All Pairs Processed. Click OK. If there are warnings or errors, please view or print the activity output. The report will list the warnings, errors and the record numbers where the errors occurred. That information is used to correct any issues with the 1099 forms. At this point, the 1099s have been processed and will be submitted to the third-party vendor. First, the forms will be checked for errors. Click Quit to continue. The data is ready to submit to the third-party vendor. The amount of time that it takes will depend on the number of forms and your internet connection. Click Start. If any errors are found, you will get this message. The e-filing process is aborted when errors are found. You will need to correct any errors found at this point. To view the errors, click OK. This is the error screen. The errors will be listed at the bottom. In this example, the payer is missing the city. You will need to quit the e-filer at this time, and go into the W2 and 1099 forms filer and enter the payer's phone number on the 1099 form. Then restart the e-filing process again. Close the error screen. When there are no errors, the forms will be assigned a batch ID, in this case, 1, 4, 0, 9, 7, 5, 9. The status is unpaid, and the price is 55 cents. At this point, the third-party vendor has the data, but until the batch is paid for, it is not sent to the IRS. To pay for the batch, check the box beside the batch number. Click Pay Selected Batches. If the batch is ready to be processed, confirm that the batch number is correct. Once Yes is clicked, the batch cannot be cancelled. Click Yes to continue. If the payment information has not been set up, the credit card information will need to be set up on a secure website. Click Add Card. You will be directed to a secure website to set up the credit card information. Enter the information and click Submit. Once the payment is accepted, the status for the batch will become paid and the itemized status will now include invoice paid. 
The paid status indicates that the third-party vendor is processing the batch to submit to the IRS. There are several steps during the batch processing. The number of steps depends e-file service selected. Batch processing could be completed in a day or may take several weeks to complete. For e-filing to the IRS or SSA, after invoice paid, the next status is filing queued, and then filing complete. Filing complete indicates that the IRS has the batch but the batch has not been processed yet. Filing accepted means that the IRS has processed the batch, and they have accepted them. That batch processing is complete. That is the 1099E filing services process. For further questions, please review the frequently asked questions on our website. Technical support can be reached by email, fax, chat or phone. Thank you for using the 1099 Etc. program. Have a great day.